If you've been looking into 3D printing and organizing drawers, you've probably come across a lot of great videos. But here's the thing, I'm not only going to show you how I made my own customized organizers, because that's not what you need. What you need is understanding the main aspects of 3D printing your own organizers. You see, these are the main elements. If you understand that, I guarantee you, you'll be able to find every tool each time you need it. If you are still printing on an Ender 3, please do yourself a favor and throw that thing away. If you don't know how to design your own trays, don't worry, there are a ton of CAD learning videos and free CAD software. Use FreeCAD for example. Accessibility is key. Accessibility is productivity. You have to figure out which tools are mostly used and place them in your drawer so you can see without wasting all your filaments if that's a layout you're comfortable with. One last thing before we get into the next point is making sure that the tools are well presented and that the drawer is not overloaded. Because if you have 50 things in a drawer and even if they are perfectly sorted, you will find it really hard to find your stuff. That's because your brain is going to be overwhelmed. Trust me. Next thing is finger holes. It's related to accessibility but from a different angle. It's common sense but there are some considerations you should think about. Obviously they should be wide enough for your fat fingers to fit through. Another point is raising the tool. This will help you grab your tool much easier. For a rule of thumb, if it's flat raise it up, if it's thick make your finger holes thick. And if it's long you can grab it by tilting it from the short side. If you have an electric screwdriver like this one, most likely your bits are magnetized. This comes in handy when you add some pockets for magnets to secure them in place. Unfortunately my magnets turned out to be very weak. Now to get to the elephant in the room. And the burning question, why did I not use Gridfinity? The system is cool, here are my thoughts about Gridfinity. I tried it out in my previous workshop for screws and small trays, that works great. But keep in mind you will lose a few percentage of your drawer height. In my case I could not afford that because I sacrificed height in order to have more drawers. One more thing, if you'd like to see how I made this desk, click here. And if you're happy with what you've seen in this video, press this button here and subscribe for future amazing videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.